For entrepreneurs and small business owners, times are definitely getting tougher, especially when it comes to raising new capital. But those same business owners have gathered together in Sydney looking for new ways to grow in challenging times. For the first time in three years, business owners have been able to swap ideas and information at Suite Connect, a networking event for Australian NetSuite customers. NetSuite, a cloud-based platform, gives budding entrepreneurs tools to scale their business and to run their businesses from wherever they might be. Suite Connect brings different businesses together to help them learn and grow. And the energy in the room has been incredible, so it's great to be back face to face. You know, an in-person event is a big tip, but then, you know, to see, it's always good. Even before, you know, all the pandemic, it's always been amazing to get in a room with the ecosystem, customers, partners. Scott Wiltshire is the Australian head of NetSuite. That when we're engaging with um, our clients, they're absolutely full sweet ahead, as was the theme today, um, and thinking about the future of their business. The Oracle-powered software gives users real-time data and analytics to help owners minimise costs and improve productivity. It was created by Silicon Valley tech guru Evan Goldberg in Sydney to talk up the platform's new features. So today we announced um, really some of the core extensions that make NetSuite a complete solution for a fast growing business so that they can get a complete view of inventory, a complete view of project management. If you're a project based business, a complete view of cash flow. So really across the board, um, new capabilities to allow people to get the most out of NetSuite and, and, and really um, leverage it for running their entire business. Goldberg says a consistently high level of business owners want to take the leap of faith and seek global expansion. He says it's ingrained in entrepreneurs' DNA. You know, we've found in the past that sometimes these times of uncertainty actually lead to more business formation. Um, people use it as a time to say, if there's uncertainty in what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, they're like, okay, I'm going to make the leap. So there's, you know, again, kind of a constant rate of new business creation and growth, and that's what leads to new customers from that suite. Resilience is the common thread that binds this community together. It's about the quest for growth, while also a battle for new investors, rising interest rates, inflation, and tighter household budgets. Yes, there's headwinds out there, but we're, you know, we're in this amazing position where NetSuite helps people drive efficiencies in their business, helps them drive automation in their business, helps them do things that would otherwise take a lot of manual effort to do. Many of our customers have great businesses uh, that they want to be here in you know, 10, 20, 30 years time, and during that time there's going to be ups and downs and they want to be around. Retailers are among the first responders to changing economic conditions. Life Interiors, an omni-channel designer furniture retailer, was founded by brothers Jeff and Basil Karam in 2006. Competition in the furniture retailing space is tough, so any business that is to thrive has to maintain an edge. Product affordability is a key pillar of the Life Interiors brand. The emphasis is on keeping costs down, but that means rising inflation is a challenge. The cost pressures that are coming through uh, are genuine and uh, I think um, the opportunity we have uh, ahead of us by providing an affordable range of designer furniture is bright, but at the same time we need to tread with caution as a family or a business and I think it's no different than any other business, which is looking at ways to grow profitability and uh, maintain cash flow and, and our cash balance as well. The business had to adapt quickly to changing conditions in the pandemic. A key problem was supply chain bottlenecks and rising shipping costs. Managing product inventory was key to success or failure. Life Interior used NetSuite to manage its stocks and customer expectations. They rolled out a feature around the availability of promise which really allowed us to to link a customer's sale to a purchase order. So as soon as that purchase order was delayed because of all the supply chain disruptions, we were able to keep the customer uh, informed of that delay and we were able to keep the customer informed of where their product was along that journey along the supply chain from the time it left the factory to the time it arrived uh, at the warehouse. As supply chains have normalised, warehouses are now fully stocked. We have our warehouse in, um, in Sydney 
Uh, we use uh, all the NetSuite functionality to obviously pick and pack and dispatch our items as well. And we've just uh, opened up our, uh, th uh, with a third party logistics provider in Melbourne. And using uh, Celigo as that integrator, we're able to spin up that uh, third party logistics provider in a matter of really a few days. Um, and that allows for us to really scale uh, our warehousing capability. One of the biggest cultural shifts that came from the pandemic was the embrace of remote work. And that gives those who work from home other options. Global Surf Industries is one of the world's largest surfboard and stand-up paddleboard suppliers. It operates three domestic businesses in Australia, the US and New Zealand, and has a global distribution network of over 70 countries. Mark uses NetSuite to keep an eye on the business from wherever he might be. It allows us to be nimble, to act quickly, to have insights through the analytics and good reporting, so that if we need to change direction or just maybe fiddle a dial a little bit to fine tune it, which at the end of the day helps our productivity, helps our profitability, and again, just gives us a better experience running the business, sort of so it's smooth. Mark has run the business from a yacht in the middle of the ocean using Elon Musk's Starlink. We have staff in the US, New Zealand, Australia. We deal with distributors all around Europe, in South America, all over the world. So for us, we were never really going to have an office. You know, we're 21 years now and we don't have any formal offices. Everyone works from home. Um, so we're a long way ahead of the curve there. But for us, it's really about flexibility. So I can be, you know, on a surfing trip in the Maldives. I can be like I was last week, traveling around the US. I'm still in touch with the business through NetSuite. So business owners like Mark can concentrate on more important things. It's really streamlined and I guess really centred the business around that knowledge of inventory, cash management, sales, debtors, customer service. It's a hub for everything. The data can travel to and from NetSuite pretty easily. So that, that, that just allows you to spend more time focusing on product, focusing on customers, or going surfing, you know. <laughs>